This is Paint Life TV. I'm Chris, the Idaho Painter. And I'm Journeyman John. And we're here at the PDCA show in Savannah, Georgia, aren't we, John? We are hanging out in the Graco booth. In the Graco booth. And they got all kinds of really cool toys here. Yeah. And one of the things is, is the new contractor PC gun. And John, why don't you tell me something that's cool about this gun? I mean, we're seeing it all over social media now, aren't we? We are, it's all over the place. And one of the things that's my, my favorite about this gun is the trigger pull. So if you guys have used the old contractor guns or even Titan's new RX Pro gun, like they're working on trying to get that trigger pull lighter. It is amazing how light this trigger pull is. And that makes a huge difference when you have thousands and thousands of hours of spraying every year that you're doing. That's going to save you in the long run from having a lot of pain in your arm and your hand. When you're old like me, it really does make a big difference. And one thing is they got some really cool setups here that can mm -hmm. show you what it looks like because we can tell you how light it is all we want, but until you can see it with your own eyes, yeah. then you just never know. And here's a setup right here. They have a Titan RX Pro gun and then they have a contractor PC gun hooked up to two scales. They do. So all you gotta do is we'll throw some weight in there um, I'll drop one of these. These are little one pound weights right here. I'll drop those in there and you can see the triggers aren't pulled yet. We'll drop another. This is a two pound weight in here. We'll drop a two pound weight in there and you can see now the trigger has been pulled on the contractor PC. Hasn't been quite pulled on the RX Pro. So that's two. That's three pounds. We can put another little one on there. We'll see if it fully pulls. So now the contractor PC is fully engaged right there and the um, RX Pro is not even engaged. So let me throw another weight. I'm gonna throw two more pounds on there and now it's about halfway engaged. So that's two more pounds. I'll throw another three pounder on there or another one pounder. It's still not fully engaged. Now it's fully engaged right there. So that's a pretty cool demonstration right there. That is. And showing you the weight. What's brilliant is it's getting past all the marketing stuff, all the like, what is this special thing? What's going on with, with the, oh, it's this new technology. Guys, like the proof is in the pudding if you're looking at it and you're trying to figure out, is this thing actually going to be any better? Is it actually going to be worth the investment? To me, totally worth the investment yeah. of upgrading your guns. And so here's another one of the things that they did with this gun, and this is the trigger. I'm a big two finger trigger guy. I mean, what do you favor? I, I mean, we, I grew up on two finger triggers, so that's all I can use now. So one thing I didn't know is people like three finger triggers and I didn't even know it existed. So this gun, it will adjust now to a three finger trigger and you can yeah. slide it down and you can make it a four finger trigger. I feel like trigger. that's where you gotta say, but wait, there's more. But there's more. <laughs> I mean, you've got three options instead of one option. Now you don't have to do my option where you remove the trigger, saw it off, and mm -hmm. then put it back on. It's completely adjustable. So yeah. they felt like they needed you know, to offer an option. So if multiple people are using the gun, you can have multiple trigger styles. Which is great. One of the other great parts about this gun is kind of in that line of, is this worth the investment? How quick it is to unpack it. So yeah. you know, Graco's released a whole bunch of things this year that are kind of new where it's like there's this theme of, hey, we want to keep you guys working longer so, so you don't have that same downtime. And so yeah. they totally redid how the packings are done on these guns. Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. And typically, I mean, to me, you know, repacking a gun wasn't a big deal, but you had to take it into the shop. You had to get some wrenches out, pull it apart and clean it. Now this thing doesn't even have to come off the hose. It can stay hooked onto the hose. The packing comes right out. And I know they said they're even less expensive, but this yeah. packing, you don't need a wrench. It just unscrews mm -hmm. and it's all one piece. So it's not a whole bunch of pieces so you don't have, for instance, a package with a bunch of little pieces right here. So it's all one piece, it unscrews just like this. You're gonna pull those buttons up, it's gonna disengage the trigger. So it lifts up right here, you can see it just pushes the button, lifts up, and now you can actually unscrew it comes right out. One piece, one cartridge, you take that, you set it aside, you grab your new one, you pop it back in, screw it in, push your trigger back down and you're ready to go. And one of the best parts is it costs about 30% less than the old repacking kits on the contractor gun. So it's cheap, it's quick, you have less downtime. Heck, we were to the point where we would have a gun get toasted and it was almost cheaper just to buy a new gun than it was to spend the labor and the time, the money on a repacking kit 
in order to, to get that gun back up and running. This totally changes that yeah. game. And I know they, what Greg was telling me is a lot of guys send their guns in to be repacked, so you don't have to pay to have them serviced now. Yeah. There's absolutely no reason to send this thing into a shop to repack it. It's very no. simple and easy to do. Yeah. It is pretty blue. I don't know if that makes a big difference to you or not, John. I mean, it's a good looking gun. I mean, that, that counts for something. Yeah. And here's something else, you know, um, I noticed, I saw on somebody's social media account is it um, unhooks from the top mm -hmm. and not the bottom right there. So that's not a big deal to me, but to some guys it actually made a difference. They actually like that feature. So anything else about this gun, John? That you know, the gun costs a bit more than you're going to pay for a normal contractor gun. But again, it's it comes down to what is that cost of ownership? So you don't have the downtime, your hand is going to feel better. Like the, to me, all of the different things, the benefits that come with this gun, it, it, it makes it worth yeah. investing back into your company. And you know, there's one other thing, there's a scale right over here. We'll show you, you might see it show up on here, um, some B-roll. It's lighter. It is. So this gun is significantly lighter than any other gun on the market, and they got a scale to measure it out, and we'll show you what that looks like too, because it's always good to be able to see it with your own eyes, the weight difference versus us just telling you it's lighter yeah. um, and you not believe in us. Yeah. So hopefully this kind of showed behind the scenes of some of the marketing stuff. You guys actually got to see like, hey, what is the difference, and, and is there actually a difference? And, and you know what? These guys have made it easy to see what the difference is with the trigger pull, with the packing, uh, with how heavy the guns are, um, to me it's it's kind of a no-brainer. I think we're gonna have a lot of Graco guns on our yep. stuff. We're gonna have a lot of Graco guns. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, if you've used this gun, if you got any comments, just leave it in the comment section below. We would love to know what you have to say, especially down the road. It's a brand new gun. We wanna hear what people are, are saying about it, you know, six months down the road. Is it something you'll continue to use? Let us know. Your opinion matters. So We'll see you on our next video, I think, right? That's the plan. Out.